Hey guys, welcome to another week in my life vlog. You know what I'm just realizing? Is this the last week of May? Which means I will be vlogging every day in June in a very short time. If you're new to my channel, I do sort of like a vlogmas type thing, except in June, because that's my birthday month and my favorite month of the year. And it's called Two Summer. And I did not do it last year because I was depressed. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That was, um, there was no way I would have gotten through that. So I kind of forgot that June is super duper close. I have to prepare myself. I had the most amazing weekend and I'm not excited to be starting another work week, but we're gonna do what we have to do. This weekend is a Memorial Day weekend, so three day weekend. God bless. This weekend was so fun because this, I still am like in shock that this happened. Saturday was super fun because it was my friend Caitlin's birthday. So we drove up to Milwaukee to her house to hang out with her. And it was amazing to like be there. No masks, we're all vaccinated and just hang out. Like things are starting to feel a little normal. And this is where the crazy part of the story happens. We uh, went to see Blake Horseman from The Bachelor and Bachelor in Paradise fame. I am in love with him, um, I always will be. I know his his run on Bachelor in Paradise was a little controversial and he made some mistakes, but I'll always love him. <laughs> and he's doing a DJ set, like he's a DJ, whatever you wanna do, sir. But he was doing a DJ set opening for this like boy band cover band in freaking Chicago or like, right outside Chicago. So of course we had to buy tickets and go. So we went and it was again super strange for everyone to be there like no masks and like it literally felt like the before times like being in a room of sweaty people like body to body. A little overwhelming <laughs> to be thrown into that but it was fun to see Blake DJ. He was he was okay, um, but he's so freaking cute and I couldn't stop staring at him. He said he had some special guests and he brought them on stage at one point and who else would be a special guest besides Pilot Pete, Peter Weber, The Bachelor. <laughs> when he came out, me and Lily were like, like our, we could not get our chins off of the floor. It was so bizarre to be standing there with Pilot Pete in front of us. He's not my favorite bachelor, but it was just so weird to be in the same room as him. So we were fangirling a little bit. And then because of all that excitement yesterday, I literally slept all day. I couldn't <laughs> stay awake. So now that I blabbed to you about my weekend, I guess I should go to work. I had a cold last week and it was not fun. You can still kind of hear it in my voice, but I feel 100% better. So last week at work was... 0% fun and now I feel okay. A little OOTD, I can already feel myself sweating, so 100% I'm gonna have some sweat stains today. <laughs> We've got little cute pink top from Francesca's, my black boyfriend jeans from Forever 21, I'm not wearing shoes yet. I self-tanned last night, which was a very big ordeal, and I did okay. My feet look so scary. I did an awful job on my feet. And there's some, some points around my wrist that um, we're just not going to talk about it. Have a beautiful Monday, or I don't know, whenever you're watching this. And I'll see you guys after work. Hello, I just got home from a walk. I was so on edge like, at the last bit of work. I think we left at 7 or just around there. And I like my stuff was done before 7 and I just wanted to go and I just was not feeling it. I'm like, I just want to go home and go on a walk so bad. But I did and it was so lovely. It's the perfect temperature outside. I went down by the lake and now it's a little dark out and it was kind of buggy. I have my HelloFresh box here, obviously. I'm not going to make dinner tonight because it's already 8.30. Ooh, I do have some leftovers from last night though, so I'm not going to just like go hungry. But let's see. What's inside this week? A tradition on the weekly vlogs because I get a good old Hello Fresh box every week. Okay, we have nacho uh, pork burgers. I thought this seemed interesting. I always pick out my recipes ahead of time, 
basically it's a pork burger with nacho cheese and sweet potato fries how could that be bad right and then we have a new salmon recipe all the salmon recipes are delicious and this is a new one i haven't tried before it's salmon limon over couscous and these zucchini ribbons seems like there's a free gift inside yes sometimes they forget it and then sometimes they give me like a whole pack of tortellini without me buying it so it's really a hit or miss but we have a green tea how fun does this have caffeine in it because i will drink this right now there is caffeine in this so i will not be drinking it right now hello happy tuesday actually it's not a happy tuesday <laughs> i just wanted to keep sleeping forever oh also my uh shoe rack collapsed at some point i don't know when this happened it's um it's pretty pretty sad you can see the leg <laughs> buckled <laughs> it's oh dear <laughs> maybe it's too i don't know i don't know i gotta figure out a way to fix that i'll turn the air off for a bit so i can talk without that sound but i wanted to give you an otd we have this little top from Bohm, i think b-o-h-m-e i ordered some stuff from there a few months ago and i really like all the stuff i got this is my first time wearing this top and i tied it up a little bit well, you don't need to see my midriff but i tied it up just so it's a little more flattering um some good old blue jeans and then these sandals are my favorite thing ever they are from tj maxx they were only like 30 bucks and they're you know kind of higher kind of like a platform sandal but they're really comfy so i i'm a big fan I think these will be my go-to summer shoes. I have this little necklace also from that Bohm website and then my hair looks like absolute trash because I couldn't figure out what to do with it. Also, if you're wondering about my nails, I'm obsessed with them. They are obviously from Kiss, I think. I get all my nails from the brand Kiss. And these are just glue-ons. There's either like the Impress press-on manicures or the ones that use glue. I buy the ones that use glue because I feel like they stay on a little bit better. So I guess now I have to go to work. I don't want to. That's how these vlogs always go. I'm like, going to work and then I'm home and that's all I do. Hi guys. Since the last time I talked to you, I got a haircut. I went over to the old apartment last night and Terry cut my hair and I love it. Oh my God. It was so dead. He like, he's a hairdresser and he even said, it's dead. <laughs> The ends were not great, but we chopped a ton off and it feels so fresh and so good. And I'm ready for summer with my lighter hair, so I curled her today and I'm feeling cute. I don't even know if you can hear that, but upstairs, literally right across from my apartment, they are doing so much construction. I guess they're updating two of the units across the hall from me and they've been working on this for weeks, like weeks on end, every single morning. I'm woken up by some sort of power tool and there's always these men just like crowding the hallway and using the elevator like I saw a group of probably 20 men one time standing at the end of the hallway all together am I supposed to walk through this <laughs> to get to the stairs help so it's really loud I can still hear it sitting in my car downstairs um, I peeked my head in to see what they looked like and that like it looked nice. It seemed like they were putting some granite countertops in or, you know how I have the wall in between like my kitchen and my thing. I feel like they knocked down a lot of those walls so it's more like open concept. And they actually called me and asked, hey, we're offering to select tenants. I guess I was selected. <laughs> um, if you wanna move to one of the updated units. And I said, quote, well, I hate moving so I'm probably gonna say no like I'm sure they're nice but I like my unit and I'm not gonna pack up all my stuff to go across the hall I just don't see the point anyways that's what's been going on lately I'm wearing a sweater today because apparently it's gonna be 50 degrees and earlier this week it was 80 degrees so we love living in Chicago for the the weather craziness that we can't predict and you guessed it I'm going to work but today is the mass Singer finale <laughs> So I get to watch that for my first hour at work. It's gonna be great. So let's get this day started. Hey, I've been a flop. I'm only talking to you guys in the morning before I go to work, but something about last night, I think I was just extremely hangry. 
I came home, I ordered a pizza on the way home. It took an hour and 20 minutes. I was trying to boot up my laptop so I could watch a movie on Netflix Party with Rachel and it it was like restarting and it said there's no hard hard drive in this laptop. I'm like that's not true. And then I went to bed and I slept a lot. And here we are, it's Friday. We did it everybody. Holy crap, it's been the longest week. I have a good balance planned of seeing people and also hanging out by myself. So I'm pumped. I think it's gonna be a great weekend. So I'm gonna go to work for a little bit, <laughs> for a little bit. I mean that as in, I think we're leaving at five today because um, my coworkers are all like going to a baseball game outing i'm not attending i didn't want to go what you gonna say i i don't have an excuse i, I didn't want to go <laughs> so they're leaving at five i'm hoping that means i'm also leaving at five and then i'm going to drive to my parents house but now i'm like in the back of my head I'm like oh my god it's almost the first day of june like i really gotta i gotta get in the mindset because i feel like i did vlogmas pretty well i uploaded every day and Maybe some days were interesting and some days were not, but I feel like I kind of killed it. So I want to bring that same energy into two summer. So there's interesting things going on every day of June. We'll see though. Oh, I fixed my uh, shoe rack the other night. It's really, it's not doing great. Um, I lost an entire layer of space that I had to store my shoes. Maybe that's a sign that I just should never buy any more shoes because girl needs to be stopped. All right, I'm going to go now. Talk to you guys later. Hello, it's me, the girl who didn't vlog anything at home. Cause she didn't feel like it. But I dyed my hair, or my mom dyed my hair because it's what we always do. So now it's shorter and darker and I'm living my true Dua Lipa dreams. It's a Saturday night, I'm not tired. So what am I gonna do? Play dress up. I've been shopping a bit, this is unrelated, but I need to, do I dare do that tonight? Do I trust myself to? Nasty Gal is having a huge sale this weekend and a lot of their stuff is marked down to like $5 and $10. Like there's complete sets, like top and bottom for $5 and there's a lot of cute stuff. I absolutely don't need anything from there, but $5. So I may, <laughs> I may go browse and buy some more. But what I'm trying to say is I went shopping today and I wanna show you what I got, a good old haul. We haven't done this in a while. Let it be known that a lot of my stuff in my closet doesn't fit me anymore. Which happens, okay? It happens, it was a pandemic, it was winter, and these things happen. When I'm like going through in the morning like, oh, like if I wanna wear a dress, here's my exact thought process. This one is way too short, can't wear that to work. This I haven't worn since um, senior year of college. This definitely is too small. Actually, this one's very cute, but I can't wear that to work either because it's a little too nice, I guess. Basically, <laughs> I'm trying to find stuff to wear in the morning and I just, I know that nothing fits. I don't know why I don't just like get rid of it, but I'm hanging on to it for some godforsaken reason. Anyway, so there's me justifying my spending, even though I don't have to, but I'm just explaining why I bought some new things. Okay, here we go. I went to dry goods, of course, because I'm obsessed with dry goods. Look at this dress. Are you serious? Like, are you kidding? So cute, black and white polka dots. I mean, it's black and white, so maybe it's not screaming summer to you, but I just think this is so cute for summer. I kind of want to wear it on my birthday or maybe that weekend. It is just such a cute little fit and flare. There's a zipper and this little seam here, and then it just, oh, it's so cute. I'm obsessed with this. Other thing from Dry Goods, equally as obsessed, a gray denim jacket. This is one of the colors that I don't have. And it looks cute with this as well. I love a good denim jacket and girly dress moment. They go so well together, so I'm stoked about these. Next up, I went to American Eagle. I have been loving shopping online American Eagle and Airy pretty much the entire time over this pandemic. Um, so this was my first time like, in the store in a really long time. But I found this cutie little dress on the clearance rack. It's blue, obviously, with these just like little white eyelet details and kind of three tiers. It is so cute. It's very flowy, super comfortable. So nothing crazy here, but I just, I felt like I needed it. And then we had the yearly dilemma of 
none of my shorts fit anymore so I bought some more and after having a slight I don't want to say panic like a just like a little fit a little tantrum that I had mentally um, at Forever 21 trying to fit into their shorts I grabbed the largest size that they had available in the store and they did not fit so I, I had a, a bit of a moment and then I was able to calm down we went to American Eagle and I found some that fit my body and it doesn't matter what size they are I just know now that I cannot shop at Forever 21 and I don't know why I keep trying but American Eagle has bigger size ranges and we love that for us so these are just a very basic dark wash denim they're cute they are like the perfect length I think oh no these are sewn so they kind of stay cuffed like this but they are not super duper short and I know that my thighs won't chafe when I wear these which is so important and then I got these cute little camo ones that are just very like flowy and loungy I don't know if camo is still in or or what's going on and the last thing is probably my favorite I need to make room to show you this is a jumpsuit ah oh, she is so comfy it's like a jersey material very casual um obviously you saw the pockets it's just it's perfect i could either live in this um forever sleep in this or pair it with a cute jacket and some accessories and like make it a going outlook oh i can do so much with this and i'm so happy that i found it on the clearance rack holy crap i also got some wallflowers to restock in the cutest tiniest little Bath and Body Works bag. They were having their candle sale where all candles were $10 off and I didn't buy any so that's a win on my part. That's what I bought today and now we are going to transition into the dress up part because I'm going to a wedding next weekend and I have a few options that I need to try on. Something that I bought from Lulu's and then something that I rented from Newly, and the rest of my Newly picks for the month so we're just gonna try them on because why not okay here is option one this is from lulu's i'm still trying to figure out how i feel about it so i'm like your comments will really help we'll leave me some comments down below first of all i think it's it's a little too short we're kind of risking it but also i mean it's summer i'm gonna be hot whatever i'm in love with this color it's a little blown out because of the lights right now um, and this is like not a silhouette that I would wear very often, but somehow Lulu's just knows how to make dresses that kind of like fit bodies perfectly. Like it hits me at my waist at my smallest point, then we flare out in this little cowl neck situation. I don't know how they get the fabric to drape perfectly right there, but it like, huh? I don't know how that's possible. The only thing that I'm struggling with is these um, straps that you have to tie. I feel like they keep wanting to slide down, but if I make them too tight, they dig into my shoulder. And then in the back, can we see this? There's a little tie, little tie situation. Oh, I'm not shooting the dress. And then I have to show you these shoes. I really like the shoes. I'm gonna keep these no matter what and wear these with whichever dress I choose. Um, I need to figure out how to better like tie them up my leg because that's what they're supposed to do. But they're so cute. I don't have any shoes like this. So I'm going to be wearing these for all my summer weddings. And by that, I mean just the one that I have. So this is option one. Um, let me know what you think. And we're going to transition into option two if it fits please hold <laughs> this is a bit much there's a lot going on here first of all i don't have it zipped completely because uh zipping with sequin fabric difficult i'm terrified i'm gonna zip it all the way up and get stuck <laughs> and no one's gonna be here to help me get out of this dress this looked very cute online and in everyone's photos they were like i wore this to a wedding and it was amazing blah 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 it's a lot in person it's very sparkly very shiny this is like if i was invited to a red carpet i think i would go i love this little leg slit though or if i was going on the bachelor or something you know this doesn't scream casual wisconsin wedding i think it's a bit much and again i don't even know if it fits because i can't zip it i'm like trying to pull it closed as much as i can i feel like it wouldn't even zip <laughs> if it did it'd be a little too tight but it's kind of like a like a mermaid dream um i'm just not sure that i have the right occasion to wear this it's very very cool very fun to try on um but i'm gonna try on 
the rest of my newly box with more casual items. So let's see how that goes. All right, casual dress time. This feels so much better. She's very wrinkly from being in that box. And I mean, this is just what you get with renting clothes, but I feel like she's been washed a little too many times. And not that it's super short, I just feel like it looks very used and washed, which is fine. If you're renting clothes, you want them to be washed. Um, I don't know, maybe just a, a simple steam would make it look better, but it's a blue little floral print, so it's cute. You know, I'll probably definitely wear it once, once I steam it. I don't know. Next up, we have a romper. I feel like it looks a little funny because <laughs> it's very fitted up here and then it totally flares out. Like there's a lot of fabric down here to, I don't want to say like diapery, <laughs> but it just looks very, very, um, I don't know. There's a lot of fabric going on. Oh, I thought for sure there would be pockets. It just feels like there's so much going on here that there should be a pocket. It's also confusing because it's long sleeve, but like short. So what's the weather like when I'm wearing this? It has very defined like boob cups, which is crazy because it's making me look like I have some sort of chest, but it's so like, it's literally like underwire right here. I do like the sleeves um, and then you can tie it in the back so the sleeves don't fall off of your shoulder. I feel like I would like it better if it was just a top, but maybe I could shove all this into some jeans <laughs> and just wear the top with jeans. I don't know. I do like this. I think it's cute. I like the pattern a lot. Hmm. All right. I have two items here. We did a very drastic style change from girly dresses and rompers into pants. Um, I don't think I would wear these together because this top ties and it's a lot of like ties clashing, but this is the top. He's like a little, um, leopard print, just casual top. Again, definitely need to steam it beforehand and I probably wouldn't tie it this high either but I'm just trying to work with the pants here but yeah this top like fits perfectly cute with anything so now let's talk about these I was not expecting these to fit when I was trying to pull them on I feel like they look cute like they could be cute with certain outfits but I'm also struggling with the proportions here again there's like too much fabric so it's just bunching out and I'm having a bit of like <laughs> There's too much fabric in the crotch, but I'm trying to hike them as high as they go, which is very high, very high-waisted. I just don't know what's happening with this pocket. Something's weird here. There's the back. I mean, it's like fitting well everywhere, except, you know, where it's supposed to be a like paper bag waist. I kind of like the silhouette that they give me. Maybe I'll just like always keep my hand in my pocket to distract from the, the awkward pockets. I don't know, I think I could style these pretty cute just with a basic top and either some like platform sandals or some sneakers would be cute. I can't really do many uh, squats here, <laughs> but they're on my body, so let's move on. All right, last item here are these shorts. They're very tight. <laughs> these are Lee vintage shorts. I shouldn't even have tried because once you see vintage, you're like, Okay, so their sizing is gonna be completely different. I was able to squeeze into these. I'm wondering if they would like stretch out the more that I wear them, because I've got a good amount of room down here and they look good on the butt. I mean, I've got this little handle here. I'm not sure what that's about. Yeah, like from afar, it looks like a cute little summer short, especially with this top, it's cute, it's just like casual. Um, I don't think I could sit down in these, to be honest. I have made a complete mess. I'm wondering if this is part of the design or if it's a stain. <laughs> I'm just noticing that when I sat down. It's on both pockets. It looks like a stain. Is that what makes them vintage? What? In conclusion, I will say not my not my favorite box. I think I've made some better picks in the past. Sizing is always different with all these different brands that I'm trying, so it's still fun to see what works. I am gladly going to change into some pajamas though and end this vlog because I want to try to get it up and give myself a few days of rest before June 1st. So hopefully you like this random haul at the end and just random things that I've been doing throughout the week 
give this a thumbs up if you liked it leave some comments down below and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the start of two summer on june 1st which will be uploaded june 2nd so keep your eyes peeled thank you so much for watching and have a great day bye